welcome back. This is The Preschool Project and I'm Teacher Katie. Whoa, it was a wonderful weekend. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend too. We are on a new letter. The letter is V and it goes V, V, V. Can you make that sound? V, V, V. Good job. And V is for V, V, violin. And V is for V, V, vest. And V is for V, V, van. And V is for V, V, vine. And V is for V, V, volcano. And V is for V, V, vacuum. Whew, that is a lot of V words. Our number for the week is, dun, 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 dun. 22. And 22 means there are two tens. These are my little tens. Look at them. So there's 10 little squares stacked on top of each of them. So 10, 20. So we have 20 over here. And then we have two little baby squares. Look at them. They're so little. Let's see if I can hold them in my hand so you can see them. There we go. Two little baby squares. So then we have 22. So we have our two long two long pieces these are our tens so they're ten little squares all together and then our two little baby squares so this is what 22 looks like so if i just hold this this is 20. if i just hold one it's 10. so look there's 10 20 and 21 and 22. so i have two tens and two ones that's 22. That's pretty cool, huh? So our number is 22. Our letter is V. So let me grab my magic marker and we'll get writing. So I'm going to make my star over here, my moon over here, and we're just going to make a slide, which is a diagonal line. We're going to start over at the star, slide, and then we're going to go to the moon and we're going to slide again. To kind of help sometimes, if you put a little dot, so here's my star, and my moon, if you put a dot right in the middle, that sometimes helps, so you go for the dot. So you slide to the dot, slide to the dot. So V is just two steps, and little v, lowercase v, looks like this. There we go. So we have our uppercase v and our lowercase v, our big v and our little v, and it goes v, v, v. All right, let me erase this real quick. And we're going to write the number two. So I'm going to make my star and my moon and my star and my moon. I get to do it two times. So for number two, I always start at my star. And we're going to make our magic rainbow. Looks like a backward C. Magic rainbow, little road. Just like that. Magic rainbow, little road. And I'm going to make it one more time. Magic rainbow, little road. So if you get it one time, You'll get the second time, you just write it twice. Magic rainbow, little road. Magic rainbow, little road. So I made 22. And 22, remember, we have our two tens. Here's my 10 strips. So I gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and then I have two ones so two tens and two ones one and two so that is what 22 looks like all right let me erase it really quick Doo -doo -doo. all right guys we're gonna move on to our calendar I'm gonna switch over here if I don't run into my wall oh, I'm just running into my wall today all right, yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday. It's Magic Monday. Oh, I get to turn into something that starts with the letter V. Let me think here. Oh, I know. Magic Monday, Magic Monday. Turn me into a vacuum. Bing! I think I'm gonna clean the whole house. <laughs> what are you gonna turn into? Let's see. Magic Monday, Magic Monday, turn you into well, hopefully you have fun being whatever that is. I'm sure it's going to be a very nice time. All right, let's start singing our song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we say the end. All right, guys, we're gonna scooch over here and sing about weather. 
What's the weather like today? Like today? Like today? What's the weather like today? You will say, <clears throat> go run over and look, see what your weather is like. Looking out my window, my weather looks pretty sunny. So I'm gonna put sunshine today. I'm gonna make a guess, a prediction. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be sunny all day. What is your prediction? What is your guess? What is your weather going to be like? Hmm. You can put that in your weather journal. If you have a weather journal, a little notebook, you can draw what the weather is and then have your grown up write what you think it's going to be later and see if you are right. See if your prediction is right. So guys, we are in summer. We were in spring when it was rainy and sunny. It was a little warm and a little cold and all the plants and all the trees were growing. And before that, it was winter when it was really cold and snowy. But now we are in summer and it's warm and hot out. So we can go swimming, we can jump on the trampoline, we can go play. That's what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of playing, doing some sidewalk chalk. Hopefully you're having a lot of fun outside too. And then later, when the leaves start falling down, that is when it's fall. So that'll be really cool too. All right, guys, before I go, I'm gonna give you our art project. This one is very, very fun. So we all know about vegetables, right? Some, some things are fruits and some things are vegetables. Usually fruits are sweet and vegetables are not as sweet. So. I'm gonna think of some vegetables. If you wanna look in your refrigerator to help you, that's a good activity. If you have some fruits and veggies, you can sort them out, say these are fruits, these are veggies, these are fruits, these are veggies. You could have two different piles. Or if you have pretend fruit, my son Bryce has some pretend food and uh, veggies and fruit, and so he's gonna split them up into two different groups. And then after that, you can make what I call a vegetable person. So I'm gonna think, what should I have for the head? I think for um, my head of my vegetable person, I am going to make, let's make a radish. So a radish is red and it has a little white tip and it has some green leaves. So he has a radish head and then I think he's going to have, hmm, let's make a big pumpkin. I like pumpkins. A big pumpkin body. <laughs> That's a funny pumpkin, isn't it? I was trying to make those little um, little groove lines. Let's see if we can fix it. And put the little stem. He's gonna have a pumpkin body. And then I think his legs should be made out of carrots. And there's my carrots. Make some lines. Doop. So I'm making a little carrot person. If you want to, you can make it on colored paper and then cut it out. And then let's see here for his arms. What should be his arms? Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll make some celery arms. There's his little celery arms and celery is green. So I'll color those green. All right, so there is my vegetable man. And I'll make a little smile, little eyes, little nose, and a little mouth. And there is my vegetable man. And if you like to, after you're done drawing it, or you can paint it, or you can use colored paper and make the little vegetable man, or vegetable girl, after you're all done making this, you can write a story about your vegetable person and talk about an adventure they went on. Maybe they went in a van and they went on a ride and they saw a v v vacuum. <gasps> Ooh. And when they were vacuuming, they accidentally vacuumed up a violin. And when they vacuumed up the violin, a volcano went off. <laughs> But it was a rainbow volcano. It was actually very pretty. So they sat there and looked at the rainbow volcano and then the rainbow volcano turned into candy and the vegetable person had some candy and it was a very good day. That was my story. <laughs> Hopefully you have fun making a story too and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye everybody. Bye.